Good afternoon. Uh, you got a new weapon now? Can you tell us what you've seen so far of uh, Jerry Stone? Uh, he's been he's been great for the two or three days that he's been here so far. Uh, he's picking everything up. Super good memory retention. We had heard he was smart, and he's demonstrating that classroom side of it. Uh, it's been very impressive, very intelligent. And then now it's just a matter of translating that on the practice field. So far, yesterday was good. Today will be another day, and we'll just keep stacking them. The current group of receivers, obviously, all of them already have a versatile skill set. What has Tony given you that the others uh, maybe or, or may have or might not have? Yeah, I th without knowing for sure, uh, he's got just this uh, explosive knack especially with the ball. And we got guys that have that as well. Uh, his is just an, an additional layer to that. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't know for sure what, is, what, he, what he has that other people don't. But he definitely has talents. Uh, he's displayed them in the league uh, last year, this year, and as far back to college. Um, it's, just a, it's just a matter of complimenting him in roles with the other guys on the field and, and the scheme and against the defense that we're seeing. You guys are number one in the league right now in terms of red zone efficiency. In that condensed space, why do you feel like you guys have been successful from a receiving standpoint and obviously what, what Patrick has done? Yeah, I think uh, that's a good question. I, um, I hesitate to pin it down to one thing. I think it's a, fa a lot of factors. Uh, we ask a lot of the guys down there in terms of what we do, and we got really smart uh, skill players as, long, as well as a really good quarterback. And so we're able to do a lot of different things down there. And the guys know that down there, uh, the space is condensed. Things happen faster. You've got to be on the details of everything that we're doing. And they have been, um, which allows us to, to attack defenses in lots of different ways and then stay one step ahead, at least so far. And then the guys make plays. And a lot of it is the quarterback and the offensive line and uh, having that running threat as well. You know, I know so much of what you guys do in play design is for one thing to open up and it's built off of something else, but how much do you think that just the skill set is helping you more this year as far as the diversity of skill set you have in, in your position as far as one thing helps maybe open up something else? Yeah, I think that's been, through the first seven weeks that we've played, that's been one of the things that we've relied on because we don't have a ton of tendencies with these guys yet, so it is just um, them winning with their physical abilities as we go and defenses start to um, uh, focus on what we've done in the past, those compliments and I think some of what you're speaking to, what we've done in the past, uh, will start to show up even more. As of yet, we're, everything we're doing with the guys in the spots is still a little new, uh, both to us and the rest of the league. But that'll start to incorporate now some compliments and, and some carryover to where now you'll see uh, different guys opening up different things for other guys as opposed to just one on one. <clears throat> Is this what you? Couple more. It's um. There's a trend now of Juju really picking up the production. I just wonder what you sent from him. Um, maybe at the start of training camp to how you guys have sort of implemented and gradually improved over the course of time if that has made him you know be you know successful. Maybe that that number one receiver with Patrick. Yeah. The uh, you're always satisfied, I guess, or, or fulfilled as their coach when the stats mirror up with um, what we're asking them to do as far as the offense or the receiver room. Uh, Juju, Quez Cole, Jay Watt, all of our guys, I feel like, have been consistent in what we've been asking and, and how they've been playing throughout the weeks. Sometimes, for whatever reason, the ball finds you and the stats accumulate. And for the last couple of weeks, it's been uh, Juju. And, then he's made the most of the opportunities when he's had those chances. But um, it hasn't necessarily been anything over the last month or something that changed or flipped. He's just consistently brought the same mindset, um, and as well as all the other guys, the same practice habits. And that, that uh, attention to detail and that continuing to grow has led to where we are now. And we got to keep it going, because I think there's still room for improvement. And we haven't even reached whether it's our offense's full potential or each of those individual receivers haven't reached their full potential, and, and that's still out there to get. It was, um, yes, it was in camp where, where Travis sort of 
said that, hey, you know, because he's been in the office so much, he can obviously, you know, help the other receivers run routes or understand the route concepts or how you can maybe play with them or, you know, adjust post or pre and post apps. Um, I'm just wondering how his presence may have helped a lot of these younger guys because Kelsey is the one guy who ran the offense the most with Patrick. Yeah. He's been invaluable. Their experience, some of the guys that we brought in in past systems, being NFL receivers has helped because there's a difference in um, a route concept between what you have and what you have to do. And it can be different from team to team as well. You know? And so Trav has really been able to kind of translate, here's what you have on this play, and here's what you have to do. And those guys get that. There's a line on the paper, and there's a pattern. And then there's a way that we need to uh, run that or the mindset that we have to have and how we got to get that done to get first down or to execute in the red zone across or down the field when teams are making you drive 12 or 14 play drives. And Trav's been able to communicate that as one of the guys who's been here forever. Here's what you have. Here's what you have to do. Is there a fair example of, of that that has played out so far? Over uh, without... I would say in situational downs, third downs, and red zone, um, as a general statement, those little nuances have shown up between here's what I have to do, here's what I have, and here's how to move the chains within the offense and within the system. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.